the word of the Lord for this church in this year is from Luke chapter 1 verse 45 as I said two nights ago he said blessed is she who believed for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord you see the word believe is very critical there you have to believe you have to believe blessed is she who believed not the one that does not believe blessed is she who believed because there's going to be a fulfillment and so i said two nights ago i said last year 2021 is gone now a lot of things you wanted to see you probably didn't see them but that doesn't mean that god has forsaken you forgotten about you it is because god is preparing you for the best i studied the bible hannah who was waiting on the lord for the fruit of the womb she never knew that god was preserving her womb for somewhere when God wants to do mighty things for you, it could take a while. Isaac was a precious child. God will not rush Isaac into this world. It took a while. And so it is necessary for us to understand that we have to wait on the Lord sometimes. Isaiah chapter 40, those who wait upon the Lord. Those who wait. And you know the story of me and my wife in this church. When she wanted to come to America for 10 times, she was denied visa. But today, by the grace of God, I thank God she's in America. Because it was what the wait, what the why. Because the devil knew that her coming would be dangerous. So, look, if you are in the restaurant, a restaurant like uh, Ruby Tuesday, Olive Garden, uh, Salt Grass that my wife is in love with now, you place your order, then you wait. Because they are just cooking your food. And when they serve you, it's hot. So, if it is good, it will take time. Amen? So I'm encouraging somebody, don't worry, it's coming. What God said, he will do. Do you agree with me? Do you believe that? What he said, he will do. Help me tell somebody whatever he said to you, he will do for you. Say it again, please. Whatever he said, he will do. Maybe you need to hear it yourself. Say it to yourself, whatever he said to me, he will do it. You need to let the devil hear this thing this morning. I don't know. This is prophetic for somebody. Say it again one more time. Whatever God has promised me, he will do it for me. Because here comes a voice that tells people every time, it can't happen. It don't happen. It don't happen. But you need to rebuild that voice this year. It is my year of fulfillment. The Lord will do it. And that takes me to somewhere. If God is going to make things happen for you this year, you need to be able to tell God, what do you want? God won't bless zero. Let me take you back to the story of Anna again. For a long time, Anna was praying to God and asking for a child. I don't know if this is the case or this was the case. But for some reason, Anna will return from Shiloh and was not pregnant. And I wasn't in their bedroom, but I know Hannah and uh, Kana, they were very busy trying to make this thing happen. But it just didn't happen. She was doing the due diligence, everything she needed to do as a wife with her husband. She was trying. And bet she was not conceiving. But one day, she asked God for a son. So which means up until the time she said, I need a son. God was like, you need a child. Which one? Male or female? So you got to be specific. You need to know what you are looking for. So this day, this fourth Sunday of the year, I want to challenge somebody. What is your vision for your life? What do you want God to bless you with? Don't just enter 2021 again, uh, 2022, and have nothing. No vision, no purpose. There's nothing you are living for. There's nothing you want God to do for you. You just say, God, bless me. And God is asking, how? How do I bless you? What do you want me to do for you? Whenever God does a thing, it is for his glory. There is nothing that you are going to enjoy in this life that will not bring God glory. If God is not going to be glorified, God is not interested. He is not even involved. Everything is for his glory. In fact, the Bible calls God a jealous God, that his name is jealous. Have you read that in your Bible? God is a jealous God and he is jealous of his glory. He created us for his pleasure. So there is nothing you are going to get from the Lord this year except it glorifies him you want god to bless you god will ask the question where am i in the picture if i give you this money will you remember me 
If I give you this child, will you remember me? Anna said, give me a son and I will give him back to you. God said, yeah, now you are talking. I'm in the picture now. Before every time you have asked me for a child, you just wanted to show Penina that me too, I'm a mother. They, because the reason was selfish, God didn't answer. But when she turned it around and said, I'm going to give you that child, that was the last prayer point for a child. Every time you ask God for a job, please, brothers and sisters, hear this very well. You pray this year and say, God, please bless me with a job. Make sure you tell God too, I will use that job to glorify you. You ask God, bless me with a business. You tell God, I will use that business to glorify you. I need a car, I need a house. Tell God where he is in the picture. If God is not in it, the equation is not balanced. He has to be in it. The vision of your life must be the vision that glorifies God. If God is not in it, some people ask for wrong reasons. The Bible says we pray, we ask amiss, and we do not receive. Because the purpose, the reasons are wrong. They are selfish. They are carnal. They are not spiritual. If your reasons are good, God will breathe on it. God will bless it. There is nothing that is going to glorify God that can fail. Nothing. I've not seen one. And visions are powerful. I have a popular quote. Uh, I received one day. I made it into a picture. I uh, share with people on the, on the social media. Because I just I sat down and I received those words. That your vision is so powerful. Your vision has the capacity to invoke God's provision. That is sufficient to take you to your destination. And remember, your vision is the picture of your future. Your vision is the picture of your future. What do you want to become tomorrow? And this year, 2022, now you need to have a vision for this year. What you want to be or what you want to achieve or where you want to be by the end of this year. You have to have a vision. You can't just live your life to chance. You, you, you can live your life to chance. Many people are so religious that everything they need to do, they don't do. If it is possible, they want to summon God from heaven to come and do for them what they should do by themselves. In this morning, I was sharing with us during the early morning service, I was talking about preparation. You cannot do anything in life successfully unless you have prepared. You have to prepare and preparation is intentional. It's not accidental. Success is not accidental. Those who are succeeding in life, they work for it. In fact, if you succeed accidentally, you can't manage the success. Because you're not prepared for it. And I gave several examples. And some of the brothers here, they, they also contributed powerfully this morning. So your vision is powerful. It has a capacity. The capacity to invoke or to provoke God's provision. That is sufficient to take you to your destination, wherever you are going in life. Your vision is that powerful. Every vision that is of God has the capacity, the ability to bring down God's provision. God will bless your vision. Every vision that glorifies God, God will provide for it. There is nobody who wants to do a thing that will make God happy and God will not supply everything you need to make it succeed because His glory is in it. And your destination is where God is taking you to in life. To begin is always tough. Let nobody lie to you. Nothing great started great. And nothing great is easy to do. It just takes boldness. Those who are not afraid to fail, they succeed. But those who are afraid to fail, they will never succeed. They will never start. I go fail. I will fail. I will fail. The fear of failure has grounded many. Rise up this year and fulfill your destiny. The Lord is waiting for you. Rise up with me if you are blessed this morning. Put your hands together for Jesus.